An all-new CMS TV is off and running from Creation in Kennewick. Up next, Pacific Northwest artist Caleb Ray joins me to sit down and talk about his music. In today's Merch Spotlight, we speak with the good folks from Elite Fed who talk about all the great work they do with their organization. And Regan Roberts sits down with the guys from Minnesota and Harbor and Home as we find out what exactly a Red Lobster has to do with their name. We find the answer to that burning question and more when CMS TV starts right now. Hey, we're Chris and Jody from Love and the Outcome. You're watching Christian Mu- <laughs> Yeah, I know you're actually listening. Right? Hey, we're Chris and Jody from Love and the Outcome. You're watching Christian Music Spotlight. You are the melody, the words, you are the chorus. It's Christian Music Spotlight, the stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists here in Christian Music. We are here from Creation Northwest 2016 here at the Benton County Fairgrounds in Kennewick, Washington. Joining me right now, he's from the Northwest as well, Caleb Ray. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Thanks Great to have you joining us. Uh, in fact, you graduated from uh, Western Oregon, That's was right. it? Yeah, so you're from the what, Portland, from general Portland area? Salem area. Yeah. yeah. So tell us how you got started with music. I know in 2013 you produced a full-length album. Um, so what's your track and music been like so far? Uh, well, I've been playing guitar since I was 10 years old, and I've always known since then that that's something I've wanted to do for the rest of my life, just singing and playing guitar. And, um, and I didn't actually start um, writing music and performing it until about 2006 uh, when I was in college, and I started doing coffee shop shows for all my friends, and we'd start packing those out. and. I look at my friends and my band and say, we should really dive into this more. Like, this is going really well. And so we started um, doing some touring during college. Like, we'd go to school Monday through Friday, pack our stuff up and do, like, a Northwest tour, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and come back just in time to do our homework for school the next day. And we just do that all year long. And um, so, yeah, after college, I did some touring up and down the West Coast a little bit in 2013, put on my album, This Little Light. Um, with that, I had a single called Yours to Hold that came out, and it actually went on to hit the Christian charts, and, and that just opened the door to playing Creation Fest and all sorts of other fun festivals, and so thankful to be here. What do you think it is specifically about that song, Yours to Hold, that resonated with so many of your listeners and so many fans out there? What do you think it is about the, the meaning behind that song that connected them to so many people? Well, the meaning behind the song, I wrote that um, about five or six years ago when... Um, my nephew was born, and um, basically the story behind it is um, I was babysitting him when he was a couple months old, and uh, one day I was with him and he was just crying nonstop, and, and I just tried everything. I tried feeding him, I tried uh, putting him down for a nap, I tried changing his diaper, just doing everything I could, but he just wouldn't stop crying. And so I called my brother, freaking out, saying, what do I do? He's, he won't stop crying, and, and he said, oh, he just, he just wants to be held. So I, so I picked him up and held him and he stopped crying. And so that was a big learning experience for me. And, um, and that was the kind of moment where God spoke to me and said, Caleb, when, when you don't feel close to me, like, you should be kicking and screaming and freaking out. Like, you should be doing everything you can to be close to me. Like, this should, this should be a priority for you. And so um, it's just that song of offering yourself up to God, saying, God, I'm yours. Would you please hold me close, and, and he's a God who doesn't let go, and I think that really resonates with a lot of people. I think it incredibly does, especially in today's society, especially, you know, getting really believers to really hunger and thirst after him and really mm -hmm. want more of the truth that exists instead of buying into the lie. Um, Caleb Ray is joining us here on Christian Music Spotlight. Now, you've had the chance to share the stage with so many wonderful artists of the years. Do you have any favorites, uh, favorite artists you've got a chance to share the stage with? Um, um, there's been a lot. Uh, personally, 
Lincoln Brewster, because um, I'm a guitar player. I, I love playing guitar, and I'm, I'm a Fender guy, and so I play tellies, he plays straps, and so I um, had a great show with him, and afterwards we just we just talk and talk and talk guitars. We're such guitar dorks, but um, that was one of my favorites. Also, Building 429 was really fun. Um, there you go. Uh, last year, or two years ago at Creation Fest, um, you know, I got to play the same day as Switchfoot, which was like just that was, that's been the dream. They were one of my first favorite bands. Um, I think my very first ever favorite song that I could remember was New Way to Be Human by Switchfoot. And so oh, that was like a dream come true for me to, to be a part of that. So, yeah. Now we talk about Lincoln Brewster here. We've had a chance to talk with him several times and he was one of the ones as well who pioneered the guitar into modern worship today is there something you of course you have a very fun set out there at creation is there something you enjoy about uh you know touching people with you know the electric guitar and mm -hmm. all of that is there is there just just a fun aspect bringing that into worship yeah it really is i mean it allows me to be myself when i worship god um just to have my own way of expression i think that's really important um, instead of doing the same song over and over you know the typical acoustic guitar leading worship sometimes it just feels so so canned and recycled over and over so it's really fun for me to throw on the electric guitar crank it up to 11 and just have some fun and do some stuff on it but, um, but yeah that's kind of my thoughts it allows me to really be myself and, and I and I'm just starting to dive into the electric guitar most of my my last album is a lot of acoustic stuff um, so my next album is going to be super guitar heavy, and I'm really excited to explore that more. Caleb Ray, kind enough to join us here on Christian Music Spotlight. It's time to bring out the segment we do occasionally here. It's called Fun Fast Facts, a chance for you to find out a little more about your favorite artists here in Christian Music. Rapid Fire Questions, and it's sort of the Northwest version of Fun Fast Facts since we have a Northwesterner fellow here with us. Uh, first question, so ducks, beavers, none of the above? Go beavers. Go Beavs, Oregon State. How about that? Well, it's funny. I've got a brother who goes to, who went to OSU, and I've got a brother who's currently going to U of O. So oh. our house is totally divided, and oh. it's, it's a mess whenever we're all together. So. But up. but go Beavs all the way. Go Beavs all the way. They might have shot this year to take him. Oregon's kind of on the down they year. Say that every year. Oh, yeah. All right, that's true. Favorite Northwest hangout? Is there a spot around Portland uh, in particular you enjoy every once in a while? Um, Voodoo Donuts is fun. Oh. I mean, it's kind of the, you got to stop at Voodoo Donuts if you're going to Portland. Yep, 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 yep. Favorite uh, cuisine you like to enjoy, either at home or on the road? Oh, um, I love Italian food. Just anything Italian, oh, okay. including yeah. pizza. We mentioned some of your, you know, people you shared the stage with, Lincoln Brewster, mm -hmm. Building 429, Switchfoot, some of your potential influences there. If we were to peer into your iPod or CD player right now, what might we find you listening to these days at the moment? Oh, boy. Um, lots of Ben Rector. Uh, lots of Mute Math. Uh -huh. um, lots of Switchfoot. Their new album that came out was pretty good. Yep. Really yep. enjoying that. Yep. Um, what else? Need to Breathe. Dude, their new album like, oh. is just incredible. I. I can't get over how good it is. Their new hit, Brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So. Also, favorite uh, place you've had the opportunity in your musical travels to tour so far? Um, seriously, Creation has been one of the biggest things I've done, and it's, it's cool being here. Um, I think this year has been uh, the biggest opportunity I've had so far, and I just totally love it. Fun Fast Facts, saving a chance for you to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists in Christian music. That's kind of a good segue, bringing things back to Creation, which is large part of why we're here. It's our eighth year doing this uh, for Creation Fest. And it's always fun asking this question for the Northwest uh, bands and artists who have been around here who get to perform at a festival that's not only close to home, but of this magnitude that has gotten so many artists, not only here from the Northwest, but nationally, a big, huge jump up uh, in their careers. What's What's it mean to perform at Creation Northwest and you know, in front of your hometown region fans? What's it like? It means everything to me. I mean, it's it's cool to, um, you know, have a, a big show where I can have all my friends actually make the drive out. It's only four hours for most of my Portland friends, and so um, yeah, it's it's just really cool to 
um, to be a part of it and to play with artists of you know that magnitude. I think we've got Family Force Five coming out tonight and yeah. for King and Country tomorrow. It's it's great uh, to be a part of that. And so it it it's meant the world to me that I could be a part of Creation Fest, um, and I hope that I can keep doing it in the future. It's, it's been my favorite thing so far. Well, we enjoy coming out here year after year, Creation Fest, our annual set of shows here on Christian Music Spotlight. Beyond the music, what's the main message? You're out here several times this weekend, performing at several different times. Beyond the music, what's some of the main messages that you want your fans and your listeners to take away from when they're leaving one of your sets? Yeah. Um, we try to have a lot of fun in our set. Um, but really, um, you know, the theme of my last album was This Little Light, and um, I wrote that song after... Uh, being asked to be um, a kindergartner's show and tell, and I went to her classroom saying um, this little light of mine, you know the old I'm kids song, this little light of mine, I'm gonna yeah. let it shine. And um, on the way home, I felt God really speak to me, and just really stop me and say, Caleb, there's nothing little about the light of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so, when we go into our sets, we want to share that story with people, and so they can just see, it's not a little light of Christ, it's it's like a wildfire through the trees. It's like a spark in gasoline. And this little light ain't hard to see, and this little light belongs to me. And so we want people to take that away and just keep shining that. And it's, it's the brightest light there is. And so um, that's what we want people to take away. Amen. Great stuff from Caleb Ray, fellow Northwesterner here on Christian Music Spotlight. The stories and testimonies behind the songs. What have you got coming up the rest of the year here, 2016 on into 2017? What's uh, Caleb Ray's plans look like musically? Uh, over the next month, I'm going to hit some different festivals along the West Coast, do some different touring and stuff. Um, in September, I'm jumping into the studio, uh, going to lay out some new singles, um, possibly over the next year, um, put out a new album, but it's kind of all in the works, and I'm still exploring just what sound I'm trying to put together, and it's been really fun. And we are out here live streaming for the first time ever. In fact, you are the first to be Facebook live streamed. Yes, the first. <laughs> Where can fans follow you either on Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or Twitter or wherever they can follow you nowadays? There's so many of them. Well, uh, I'd encourage you guys to go to my Facebook page. Um, there's a Caleb Ray page on there. It's facebook.com slash Caleb Ray Music. Um, I've also got a website, www.calebraymusic.com, and you can connect to all my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. And um, I'd say that's probably the best way to connect. Well, we thank you for your time. We thank you for your heart, for worship, and for his people, and just for encouraging everybody here this weekend to be that light and to be that wildfire that they need to be here, not only around the Northwest, but beyond. And so thank you for your time this afternoon, for fitting us in. And uh, it's a pleasure talking with you, and keep on doing what you're doing. Thank you. Caleb Ray here with us here on Christian Music Spotlight. We will continue with more here from Kennewick, Washington, on site at the Benton County Fairgrounds for Creation 2016. Stick around. Lots more to come after the break from Creation. Up next in our Merch Spotlight, we talk to the good folks from Relief Fed. And co-host Regan Roberts has an interview with our good friends at Harbor and Home that's upcoming. Plus, we close the show with concert footage from the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend himself, David Crowder. It's all coming up next when Creation 2016 coverage continues from the Tri-Cities. After this, stay with us.
Hey everybody, uh, we are so excited to be bringing you the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, we're Young and Free, and we cannot wait to be at Creation Northwest. I'm um, excited. Make sure you get your tickets, and we'll see you there. Christian Music Spotlight: the stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists in Christian music. And we are here from the Benton County Fairgrounds in Kennewick, Washington. And Creation is more than just the music and the messages. There's a lot of different quality organizations and vendors. It's time for a segment. The Merch Spotlight, where we take a look at some of the different vendors involved with making Creation Fest happen this year. And I'm here with someone from Relief Bed. Their slogan is, Buy One, Change a Life. Uh, I have someone here with me to talk about that organization. Tell us what Relief Bed is all about and uh, what you guys are involved with. Yeah, of course. So, uh, like I said, you know, we are a nonprofit organization, and so uh, we go ahead and we work with homeless shelters, international relief programs, and orphanages, uh, both internationally and even here at home. And so, what we do is we're actually sitting on it right now. This right here, this is a relief bed. Uh, it's made by Thermarest, and it's actually the only Thermarest that has a pillow on it. Every other Thermarest does not. It's just a mat. So, if you want to get one with a pillow, you have to come to us. So, there's two inches of foam inside of this mat, and there's also two inches of foam inside of the pillow. And so that's perfect because one, it gives you comfort and also insulates your body, right? And so it's perfect for someone that's living on the streets and also for even homeless shelters because sometimes during the winter they have an overflow. And so they have to move some of their tables and some of their furniture around. And so it's perfect because they get to just pull these puppies out and then just lay them right out. And then now people can go ahead and sleep on it instead of sleeping on the floor. And so that's, that's pretty much what we do. Yeah, and so... Everything here is, uh, you know, just goes straight to relief bed, and uh, yeah, we just love it. So when you guys are here at the festivals, such as Creation Festivals and a number of different festivals you guys do, what is it that you guys are doing here at the festivals? Spreading the word about relief bed and the several other things along the way? Yeah, so uh, right now we're actually on a U.S. tour, uh, so we're traveling around, and so Creation Fest was something that my boss, Scott Smalling, he's the founder of this uh, company, he, uh, he came up with it, and so he thought that, hey, it would be great to come here because, one, we just, we love Jesus, right, and so, and that's basically our main focus, and so coming here, it was, it was perfect because we're able to show the world and just young people that, hey, this is something that, that we are trying to do. We're trying to help people. We're trying to bless people. And so just coming here, we're just trying to promote our product and, uh, and just share the love of Christ and just tell the world basically what we're doing. Here's our merch spotlight here on Christian Music Spotlight. Here with Relief Bed, Buy One, Change of Life. Their website is reliefbed.com. Uh, tell us how uh, viewers out there can get involved and uh, visit your website and get involved with what you guys are doing. Yeah, so uh, just go to reliefbed.com and you can go ahead and donate or even purchase a bed for yourself. There are two prices. Uh, they are currently going for 99 and that one right there will, um, that one will go just, part of the proceeds will go to us. But there is another price and I believe it's 149 I can't quite remember. But 149 you not only purchase a bed for yourself, but you also purchase another bed right away and we're able to donate that directly to one of the organizations that we're, uh, that we're working with. And so, and there's other products as well on there uh, that you can go ahead and purchase. And th there's different ways that, that you guys can go ahead and get involved as well. So the website, it's a great website. It pretty much has it all. So yeah, definitely check it out. Appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you for taking some time out to share what you guys are doing. And thank you for being a part of Creation Festival. And uh, keep doing uh, great work you guys do. Yeah, thanks, man. And it's been great. Tribute to our creator, right? There you go. Indeed. Highlight of your summer, maybe even your life. That is the slogan for Creation Festival. We are here all season long for Creation Fest. More merch spotlights throughout the season here on Christian Music Spotlight. We'll continue with more from Kennewick right after this. When we come back, Reed Roberts is down with Harbor and Home about life in Minnesota, their Harbor and Home name origins, and oh, hey, look, there's a horse. You're going to want to stick around for this one, trust me. Plus, the one and only David Crowder closes out the show. All that and more when CMS TV returns. Stay with us. Hey, I'm Mike Lee. Thanks for watching Christian Music Spotlight. Hey, everybody. Uh, we are so excited to be bringing you the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, we're Young and Free, and we cannot wait to be at Creation Northwest. I'm um, excited. Make sure you get your tickets, and we'll see you there.
this is our ninth year coming here as a group. It's the pinnacle of our, our youth group se uh, season. And the reason we love coming here is just watching our kids get on fire for, for Jesus. And uh, to then go back into the, that dark world and you know go out there and, uh, and spread, spread the word. Interact with us on Facebook and YouTube, Facebook Christian Media Spotlight, and YouTube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight. Hey guys, coming at you from Creation Festival Northwest 2016, sitting here with a couple of the fine gentlemen from Harbor and Home. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. How's it going? It's going great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. So yeah. you guys came down from Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Good. Minnesota. That's where y'all are from? Yeah, it's cold there in the snow. <laughs> is it? Is it? So That's, like, that is can, the you, accent can there. you say bag for me? Yeah, big? Yeah. Yeah. Like what kind of, kind of, normal bag. What kind of Coke do you drink? You mean like uh, pop? Coke? Yeah, I love Soda pop, pop. Like, you know, Sprite and... <laughs> Mountain Dew. Marks, what kind beer. of cold do you want? Uh, <laughs> Sprite. <laughs> cold. Yeah, yeah. cold. Yeah, I'm just kind of in the mood to pledge allegiance to the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. We should do it. Absolutely. So, um, about your name, Harbor Hello. and Home, yeah. how'd y'all come up with that? Oh, it's a it's pretty, pretty deep story. It is. I'm going to pass it along. Yeah, super deep. Um, so, get buckled up first off. <laughs> Yep. Strapped in. It's going to be a it. bumpy ride. Um, so we were really just looking for something and something. Like M&M, TNT, H&H. That's what we landed on. We're like, that just something rings with that. Because we wanted something in home. And so then we went to Red Lobster, where I work. Oh, they had cheesy biscuits. A harbor, yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Uh, they had a harbor side menu. Um, and it was just like, bam, that's it. Harbor and Home. Wow. That's possibly my favorite story about how any band has ever named anything. Yep. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, and then we ate cheesy biscuits to celebrate. Literally. You yep. have to. Yeah. Always. So, real talk, I Googled y'all's name, and it was like, you guys came up first, and then it was just like... All this stuff about, like, about like, house home. repair. Yeah. And <laughs> like, like I was like, this is, how did they come up with this name? This is really yeah. interesting. So what's, like, the ministry uh, of y'all's band? What would you, yeah. from your own heart, um, describe it as? Yeah, I guess on the serious side of things. Uh, we are just really looking to be a light in the dark. Um, going into places uh, where a preacher can't. We can go into bars and uh, public schools and places like that play our music, just share positivity and light, um, and hopefully just connect with, like, the youth that are in this world, older people. It, it doesn't really matter. We don't really mm -hmm. have, like, a specific, um, like, age group that we're looking to, like, necessarily target because we have so many different fans and different ages. So um, I guess, yeah, just being a light to a dark world. So we'll get to do festivals like these every now and then, but it's mostly um, – like, we will do colleges as often as we can. We do bars as often as we can, just venues. Um, most of the bands we share the stage with are not Christian, and we feel like that's just kind of where <clears throat> God has his hand on our life, where, like, our favor lies, where, like, our passion is. We're like, that was a great show, and, yeah. So right. that's that would be kind of where we see ourselves, and it goes really good. So we're super thankful for things like getting to play Creation, but we're yeah. also we're just always blown away when we see, like, the, the way that, like, everything works out playing in secular places, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What like how is uh, between playing say like a bar for example versus like a Christian festival like what's the difference with the response with the fans or audience? Yeah. Um, to be honest, it is a little bit similar. Like just like the way the response the response is like it's um a little bit less about that, but it, I think it's more of like <clears throat> kind of like the feeling of like. Um, that we just like kind of felt like we were in the right place at the right time with the conversations that we had. I really do think it's probably actually in the conversations when I say it out loud, just people coming up being like, 
Um, just like the chats that we get to have when they like ask about our lives, ask about who we are, um, which is sweet because like <clears throat> as a musician, you really only play music like 30 minutes a day to an hour. Right. So it's like, what do you do with the rest of the time that you have? So it's really great when you could spend a conversation that lasted longer than your set, um, getting to just like hear someone's story and um, just kind of be there to honor them or listen to them where they're at and just be be present with them. It's really sweet. So awesome. Yeah. So this is your guys' first time on Christian Music Spotlight. It is. Thank yeah. you for having us. Uh -huh. Harbor and Home. So tell us uh, and the people out there what you guys do in your band. Mm -hmm. uh. Yes. Well, I uh, play acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and lead vocals in the band. Awesome. I drum. The drummer. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. That, that's what we I'm do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, all he does. That's all. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Just kidding. Goodbye. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for sitting down yes. with us. Christian Music Spotlight. Absolutely. Kennewick, Washington, Creation Festival in Northwest 2016. Woo. Stay tuned. There's so much more coming at you. In addition to our great CMS TV theme song, the only song I sing but Blessed Union of Souls, we've been fortunate to have a number of great theme songs over the years for our creation specials from the likes of Live Becker and Sean Locke, and this year is no exception. We'd like to thank the good folks at Bread of Stone for I'm Not Afraid, the official creation 2016 theme for CMS TV. Once again, we'd like to thank our good friends, Bread of Stone, for I'm Not Afraid. Get it at uh, streaming services and stores near you. Go pick it up. Bread of Stone. I'm Not Afraid, the official 2016 Creation CMS theme song. And we do have a lot more coming at you on our next CMS TV from Creation 2016 at the Benton County Fairgrounds in Kennewick. We are out of our lot of time for today. More interviews, more merch spotlights, more features from the festival on our next show. Special thanks to Caleb Bray and Harbor and Home for joining us, as well as our fellows, Regan Roberts. For Regan Roberts, I am Joseph Neal. We'll see you back here next time for more stories and testimonies behind your favorite projects, behind your favorite personalities in Christian media right here on Christian Media Spotlight. We're going to leave you, as promised, with Crowder. Here's a little bit of Here's My Heart, Lord. Some good stuff. We'll see you back here next time on the show. They'll be like, so what was that band with the horse? <laughs> what was, what horse? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? They're, home, they're, nobody they're had nice, pets. <laughs> like, no, he was holding a picture. Oh, pets. That's ridiculous, man. I gave, we were there. We didn't see no horse. He is my heart, Lord. He is my heart, Lord. He is my heart.